I've chosen to tackle a problem that I think is needed to be solved, and that's what inspires me to do it every single day. You're not in it for the money, you're not in it for the fame. You're in it because you get to go home at the end of the day and feel like you're making a difference in the world. Anybody could be a change maker in society. Anybody. There's over 600 million people with a hearing loss worldwide. Two thirds of them living in developing countries. People with a disability in these countries are too often ostracized. There's a tremendous stigma involved. They can't go to school and they become excluded from general society. Twenty years ago, I was living the dream. A house in the city, a country house on the ski hill, vacations all over the world. And I was president of a large international business. The future was so bright. One night in June, my 10-year-old daughter suddenly died in the middle of the night of a brain aneurysm. Um, I, I was lost, obviously. I went back to work the next week and the company I worked for as president fired me. They figured I couldn't make profit for them. And they're right, I, I was totally lost. When you have the, uh, a death of a child, it, it changes everything. It changes your perspective, it changes what's important in life. The toughest thing when she died is how to redefine who I was. I never defined myself president of a company and blah, 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 and you know, I defined myself as a dad. And, and that, that was a struggle. Who am I? I went to Africa as a Peace Corps volunteer. I figured, why not go to developing countries and in a way give meaning to my daughter's death? Uh, turned out it gave meaning to my, to my life. <laughs> I didn't ex wasn't expecting that. And I remember my first day in Africa, there was a knock at the door and a lady comes in with a teenage girl and the lady says, uh, my student here, Sarah, who's deaf, needs a hearing aid. She broke a hearing aid. I, can you help her? And this student, Sarah, had the same name as my daughter. And it turned out she had the same birthday, year and day as my Sarah. So, you know, meant, meant to be. And that's how the project started. It's actually our workers who are deaf who invented the products. And they developed a rechargeable hearing aid battery. And to charge it, they developed a solar charger. And they developed it. I, I have no technical skills. I can't even screw in a light bulb. Getting a child diagnosed is critical. I don't love all but most hearing loss equipment is in the capital cities, cost anywhere from $40,000 to $100,000. Too often, there's very few professionals to do the hearing test. Just our solution is taking the equipment to the people using a mobile app. We've developed a hearing detection test that can be downloaded onto a laptop or smartphone. Verizon brings connectivity between the developed country and developing countries. He can do his own hearing test. The results get uploaded to a cloud. Uh -huh. A professional reads it and it, it automatically programs this uh, telephone. It's amazing. Uh, you, and the telephone becomes a hearing aid. Oh. Our plan is to test 80 million people in the next wow. five years that could, previously could not be tested. Through the power of mobile technology, we can do that. How do you change society? I believe you change society through education. If we can get a child a hearing aid, they can go to school, get an education, and break the cycle of poverty. When you lose a child, it, it, it changes your perspective on life. Uh, what is important? Uh, what are your real values? Um, sort of, what do you want written on your tombstone? You, you think about. <laughs> and I realized I didn't want written. I've sold, you know, 20,000 plumbing products. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I've devoted the last 12 years of my life to helping children. Okay. Because again, it's sort of who Howard is. He's a father more than anything else. I'm not an innovator. I'm not a change maker. I'm a father. And what I would like on my tombstone, he was a good dad. <laughs>